Okay, so in this video, I'm going to uh, go through how we can use uh, JavaScript and Scroll Magic to control a uh, video. So when we scroll to a video, it plays, and when we scroll away, it pauses. Now we, uh, I'm going to use HTML5 video. So this method works exactly the same for HTML5 audio as well, because they are very similar indeed. So there's a couple of bits to this. Um, um, look, part of it is scroll magic, and I'm going to use the custom actions uh, example and pick it apart. Um, but there's also um, an element of how can you use JavaScript to control audio and video. And that is in a little bit of a... Um, well, I've done a video um, already in this playlist. Um, but also there's an example on GitHub under uh, my uh, area, HTML5 JS video controls. And I'll just quickly run through that. Um, so what we need to do here, what this is doing actually is um, I've created a video element here. The video element has got an ID. So an ID is needed for the JavaScript to be able to um, 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 so sort of get that element um, or select it um, and then the JavaScript here uh, I've created a variable which is basically storing the uh, video elements ID so we can use uh, that element sort of quickly uh, and then a bunch of functions here uh, one is playing v um, i.e. the, the uh, spark video element that one's pausing the uh, and some other ones, but the main um, bit of this is the fact that uh, we've got a video element with an ID. We've created a variable that stores that a video element's ID so that we can use JavaScript to control it. And the um, functions for um, playing and pausing uh, HTML video are basically play and pause. So quite easy. So let's um, let's do the first bit. Let's create the video element and give it an ID in HTML. So um, I've got a video already in my project. So I'm going to create a video element. Um, it's in images slash uke dot mp4. Uh, I'm going to turn off autoplay and I'm going to not have a poster image. Um, but I want to turn on controls just so I've got a, a pause button. So I'm going to save this. Oh, actually, I'm, uh, I'm going to add an ID in. ID equals uke. Save this. So if I reload my page, I should see the um, video appear there of me playing the ukulele. Okay, so that works. Next, I'm going to have a look at the uh, custom actions in Scroll Magic. So this is one of the basic examples. And it basically shows you how you can use Scroll Magic to sort of fire off any uh, JavaScript function, really. I mean, this example is not very exciting. It's just uh, firing off a progress meter. It's not very interesting. But let's have a look at the source anyway. Uh, so most of this we don't actually need. So we don't need any of this HTML here because we can integrate it into our code. We do need the JavaScript. We don't need all of it, but I'm going to copy all of it and paste it into my index.js file. So paste it in here, in there. So one thing I forgot to do is create a variable for my video element. So I'm going to do that now. So if I remind myself, my video has an ID uke. So I need to create a variable. So var, I'm going to call this uke vid. So uke vid is equal to documents dot get elements by ID. And the ID of that element is uke. So in my functions later on, I can just use this variable ukvid to pause and play and do whatever else I need to do. So I'll save that. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll put a semicolon there because it's the end of a line. And um, I just need to change some of this. So this line here, 
Um, this is where we get to choose where the trigger element is. So what is the element that we have to scroll to to um, play that video? So I'm going to change that to the element ID uke, which is the ID that I've given to the video. So when we scroll to the video, um, something will happen. It will start playing. Um, if we keep scrolling for 200 pixels, um, then something else will happen after 200 pixels. So the duration is how long we have to keep scrolling for, say, the video to um, actually pause. Um, so I'm going to leave that at 200. Um, so look further down. Uh, I'll, I'll leave add indicators on, but we can not take that out later. Uh, there's a bunch of other functions here. Uh, the only one that's useful to me is this one here. Uh, this relates to uh, enter and leave. So it's entering the trigger element and leave is what happens after the um, duration. So I'm going to get rid of these other ones here. I don't need them. Okay, so let me just have a bit of space there. So, um, but I'm going to break this up because it's a little bit too complicated here. So, um, 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 this one's doing enter and leave at the same time. So, um, I want to do them separately. So, I'm going to take out leave and I'm going to um, change this function. So, this function is, uh, I'm going to take out the E there. I don't need that. And I'll take this line out here. So, I'm going to use the same method as I've used in the past. So I've just saved that. So if we have a look back at the HTML5 video um, example, so the function is uh, v.play. So v equals the, the uh, video elements variable, and we simply say play. So that's as easy as that, really. Um, so within here, I'm just going to say uh, uke vid. Okay, so remember ukvid is equal to the um, the ID of the video element. Okay, so when I enter, i.e. when I get past this uke uh, trigger element, it's going to start playing. Let's save that, reload my page. Okay, so I can see the trigger there. Okay. There we go. So I need to add the end one on as well. So um, because I need to control the pause as well. So all I do there is I'll basically duplicate this um, one here. I can I can copy and paste it and just change the values there. So on leave function ukvid dot Pause. We'll save that and reload this. Okay, when I do that. Okay, so it's playing and pausing as I'm scrolling to and away from it. Um, yeah, and it works. That's great.